So what is it like to spend a day at Wotuka Guest House, located in Wotuka, Mackenzie Linden? Find out today with me as I take a day tour to the heritage site and see what they have to offer. Apart from wanting to experience the guest house, I was also interested in seeing Linden for the very first time. One of the main reasons I went on this day tour. But let me tell you that the sun did not disappoint. Walk with an umbrella if you do decide to visit. Hi Gems, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to today's vlog. Today we are going to be taking a day trip to Wetuka in Linden. So I do hope that you stay with me and enjoy Wetuka with me for the first time. Please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. And as always, do take care of yourself. We gathered at the University of Guyana at around 6.15, 6.30 that morning and were expected to leave at 7 a.m. However, due to certain circumstances, we left at 7.30 a.m. And I decided to have a light meal of cook-up rice. What a nice way to start my emancipation day. We finally managed to leave the University of Guyana and we took two big buses. We left Georgetown in great weather and were on our way. On the bus, we were treated to muffins and soft drinks, but of course, you could have taken your own snacks with you. We were on our way, and naturally, I sat by the window because I knew I wanted to record and also because window seats are the best seats to have when you are traveling on a bus. The drive from Georgetown to Wotuka took two hours that day as our bus was experiencing some mechanical problems but thank god we made it safely to the guest house. Historically a bauxite mining town, Linden's appeal to travelers lies in its vantage location. The town is split by the Demerara River and is the gateway to the central rainforest region of the country. As the second largest town of Guyana, it houses several interesting museums and spots of heritage value. They throw the spotlight on the indigenous lifestyle and the bauxite history of the region. The traveler can also stroll through the town to gaze at the remnants of the colonial architecture. Usually off the well-worn tourist track, Linden is one of the best of the destinations of Guyana. So after a long breezy drive down the Linden Suzdike Highway, we finally made it to the Wutuka Guest House. Wotuka Guest House is a historic facility on the riverfront of the Demerara River. It has a majestic main house and a beautiful rustic annex, situated on a sprawling lawn amidst exquisite flora. There is a stunning swimming pool, two bars, one of which is on the deck over the river, a full-fledged restaurant, 
dependable security, and the visual modern amenities. This is what the back of the guest house looks like as you can see there that is the main deck and close by there is a pier uh, with seating if you just want to sit and look at the water or if you want to lime under the deck you can do so to the right also you can find the jet skis um, I think the place is called elite kayaking and it's $2,500 for five minutes um, the conversion for that in US you will see it on screen to use a swimming pool it is $300 per person this is what the deck looks like at close view so if you wanted to take your family you know just to chill by the riverside this is a nice breezy place to do so mind you the leaves blow in here and if you have small children you might want to take care I may know from, from before, I'm not sure, but if you know me, you can feel free to say hi. Right? You know me? Hello. Your face looks familiar, I know you. Yeah. Okay. Let's check it. Anyway, so we're from Elite Kayaking and Nature Tours. We usually do the tours at the Blue Lake, the kayaking tours, but today actually we'll be doing the jet ski tours. Alright? So, um, I don't know if Tandy can, can you brief you already, but what we're going to do first, we're going to do a brief um, drive around right here in Wutuka. You're here at Wutuka Guest House. We're actually going to make a quick stop at the train, which is a very historic uh, piece of equipment here in Linden that contributes towards the bauxite history of Linden and Guyana. And we're going to go to the Richmond Hill area, Richmond Hill Village. We're going to make a stop at the entrance and we're going to have a view of the Blue Lake. I'm going to tell you a bit about the Blue Lakes when we get there. And when we're heading back, we're coming straight back to the Wutuka Guest House, straight to the jet skis. On the jet skis, everybody is going to be entitled to a ride, right? Whether or not, you know, you're afraid of jet skis, whether or not. I know many persons that think they don't know how to swim, uh, these things. No need to worry. You'll have a lifeguard with you on the jet ski at all times throughout the entire ride. All right? It's a perfectly safe experience. You have your life jackets, life guards, and everything. Of course, you'll get to see each other as a jet ski one by one. You go. You'll actually be going out by pairs. All right. And during that time, also, uh, we'll be having lunch. So while you're having lunch, having a few drinks, listening to some music, you'll be jet skiing as well. All right. So everybody ready to jet ski? By the way, or not looking forward to the jet ski ride? Right. I think that's really the highlight of the tour. So we're gonna go this direction first. Um, of course, we have a bright and sunny day, so we're going to take some sun. If you have umbrellas and so forth, feel free to walk with. We're not going to be standing much in the sun though, but we will be coming out of the bus at different points to actually get the experience. Alright? the actual train tracks that were used ever since the bauxite days. These train tracks are still here intact throughout Linden, mostly in this area. Of course, back in the day, you did not have like a big trucks to traverse the bauxite ore to the bauxite plant which you're seeing in the background. You see some smoke coming out of two chimneys? Well, one of the two, that's the bauxite plant. Back in the day, it was Demba, then Lin Mine, then Hong Mai. It's actually owned by the Chinese now on the day. Russian, and then you have um, the Bosai Minerals which is the box, the, um, the manganese in Mabirum, Irmachus, Virginia. 
Now, bauxite in 1916, that's when they first discovered bauxite in Linden. And they discovered bauxite under false pretense. The guy who discovered bauxite, he actually tricked the government at the time. And who was the government? Who was the president in 1916? Trick question. Who was the president? I hear an artist. Chung, I hear him burn up. I hear him. Just not going to hear this, man. I too. So, 1916, we did not acquire the state of independence as yet. So, we were actually still under British rule. Let me let the nice part of it. <laughs> Not to worry, you notice you are at the river, right? So the river is heading north. This is the same Demerara River that you cross the whole west side. It actually starts just around Linden, just to the center of Linden, and flows all the way out to the ocean. You can't start there, it starts here. So the river always heads north to the ocean. So north is where you tell us, well, he said, well, we can take a peace, the German gay peace. His name was Christian Finney, and his wife's So if you went in with the club back in the day, anybody ever going with the club back in the day? it was time to hit the pool to have some fun and to cool down we also had some fun on the jet skis in the next few clips you will see what the pool side looks like and what the front of the Watuku guest house looks like as well
where most of the people that come to Utuka have the most fun on the jet skis and it's more breezy towards the back as you can see people were picnicking there so like I said to the right of the deck there are some benches where you can just sit and watch out at the water and there is where the jet skis are as well so um, I however did not go on the jet skis but I managed to get footage of my friends and their families enjoying rides on the jet ski and there you have a quick glimpse of the back of the guest house so walking towards the place where they have the jet skis and you will see the billboard in case you want to you know jet ski if you ever visit Putuka look at how massive those trees are everyone I can say that they had a good time at the jet skis because even when the rain started falling they were still out there Luckily for me, there were two guys selling creamsicles and because the day was so hot, I had two of them and they did do the job and hit the right spot. Um, this is locally made in Guyana. It's called Frosty and I had a creamsicle. Yum! <laughs> Don't scream, you know. I like them too. Yeah. <laughs> One deck for Oh, boy. Come in again, do you want to? 
Uh huh. And then it breathes. Some come out of the water. Say hi, look hard. I ride a little while, but you ride most of the way. So, guys, this is where I end the vlog. I do hope that you enjoyed today's vlog and all that you saw in it. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe and to continue to support my channel in any way you have been supporting it um i do look forward to seeing you in the next vlog um the remaining clip you will see what inside of the wutuka guest house just at the back of the um upstairs looks like you can sit there and lounge as you can see the little ones are just on their tablets and you can look out upon the water water side so yeah guys that's the end of the vlog until next time bye